So here, the movements are controlled in living organisms by a specialized tissue called as nervous tissue. This is exclusively found in animals. This tissue, it helps the organisms to identify the changes in the environment, so called stimuli. How this tissue helps the organism to identify the change? So how do you feel the change in your environment? Suppose if I put a question to you, how do you feel? Whether it is hot or cold, that is by your skin. How do you feel the smell? How is the smell, whether it is good or bad? You get the sense of smell that is by your nose. Simply you say because of my nose. But how this nervous tissue is connected to your nose? You say that sound is loud. You say the sound is very low. I can't hear that. It is not audible. How do you say that? How do you identify that the sound is very low? The sound is very high or loud? How do you identify the sound is so pleasant? The music is so pleasant. How do you identify? If I put a question to you, you may say that it is because of my ear. The sounds are so pleasant, so beautiful. If I show you some flowers, how are these flowers? You say so nice, awesome, beautiful, bright colored, lovely. You say all these words. So how do you identify the shape? the glow, the beauty of the flowers. You may say that because of my sight, eyes. So we have got different organs. They may be used for other purposes even. At the same time, these organs are connected to this nervous tissue. How they are connected? See our eyes, ears, nose, skin, tongue. So all these are connected to this nervous tissue. These are all our sense organs. We know these are the sense organs by which we can sense the change in the environment. These organs help to sense the change. It means these organs, they have got some specialized cells which belong to the nervous system. We have some receptors in each of the sense organ. Our eyes, they have got some receptors. What is a receptor? A specialized nerve cell. The tip of this specialized nerve cell is called as a receptor. The tip of the nerve cell, it is specialized. For what it is specialized? To identify the change. So these kind of specialized tips the nerve cells with specialized tips are found in these sense organs. What are they? Eyes, ears, nose, skin and tongue. That means we have the specialized nerve tips called as receptors. Receptors. A single receptor cannot identify all kinds of changes. So we have different kinds of receptors to identify different changes in the environment. If the change is of light, color of light, the receptor in the eyes recognizes that. If the change is of sound, the receptor in the ear identifies that. If it is of change in the smell, the receptor in the nose, it identifies. If it is of the change in the pressure, in the temperature, your skin, which contain the receptors, these receptors, they identify the pressure, pain, temperature, that is either hot or cold. And if you see the tongue, it identifies the various taste. That means the tongue, it consists of receptors, special receptors to identify each distinct taste. So, the receptors are also a part of this nervous tissue. The receptors, they will identify they will receive the information. So after receiving this information, it is transferred to the processing unit that is also a part of the nervous system. So we understood that how the changes in the environment are taken to the nervous system. Now let us see what are the various parts of the nervous system and how the information is carried to the 
processing part of the nervous system. Let us see what are the actually the various divisions or parts of the nervous system. How this control and coordination is brought up? Let us see. Now, let us understand how the information that is received at the point that is at the receptor and how it is transformed, how it is transferred to the other parts of the nervous system. So here we already discussed that a receptor, a receptor is a specialized part of the dendritic tip of a nerve cell. The nervous system is made up of specialized cells called as nerve cells. Our body is made up of various organs. Each organ is made up of specialized tissue, say muscle, muscle tissue. So in that internal organs like intestines and all smooth muscle. In this way, different organs are made up of different tissue. In the same way, the nervous tissue, the nervous system is made up of nervous tissue, which consists of nerve cells. So here we have a nerve cell, the structure of a nerve cell. So this wide part of this nerve cell is called as cell body. Before we see how it functions, let us discuss about the shape, different parts of this cell body. This is called as axon. This is the extension of the cell body. The cell body has got so many extensions and these are called as dendrites. Dendrites. That means the short extensions are called as dendrites and the long extension is called as axon. This is covered by some kind of protective myelin sheath. And here the nerve cell, it ends at one point. These are called as endings of the nerve cell. We call them as nerve terminals. So we have seen the various parts of a nerve cell. Our nervous tissue is made up of these kind of cells. So our sense organs, they have got receptors. These receptors will receive the information in which form. It is in the form of a chemical reaction. So the identification of change in the environment is done in the form of a chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. So where does this chemical reaction takes place? At the dendritic tip. Tip of the dendrite. So this chemical reaction, it sets off an electrical impulse here. Electrical impulse. So this electrical impulse, it travels through the nerve cell. Nerve cells are conductors of electrical impulses. So we see that electricity it passes through copper wires. That in our house wiring, if you see that there are switchboards and various electrical appliances. If you have electric bulb, if you have electric fan. So this fan or bulb to glow or to work, it should be connected to the electric power supply through a cable. When the electricity, electricity passes through the cable, then the electrical appliance will work. That means the electricity is passing through the cables. In the same way, the information which is received at the receptor, the receptors that are located in the sense organ, the receptors that are found in the tongue, gustatory receptor, the receptors that are found in the nose, the receptors that are found in the nose, olfactory receptors. So these re receptors, whenever they receive the information, at this point, some chemical reaction takes place and it initiates, it generates an electrical impulse, which is carried out by this nerve cell. So this electrical impulse, it may pass through the nerve cell at the end of the nerve cell, that is at the tip of the nerve cell. And again, it is connected to the dendrite of another nerve cell. So here is the dendrite of another nerve cell. But the electrical impulse is not directly passed from one nerve cell to the another nerve cell in the form of electric current. See here, if the electrical impulse has come in this way and from the other end of the dendrite to the another nerve cell. So it cannot directly pass as a electrical impulse. Let us see. Let us see. Here we have a series of nerve cells. So the information it has to be passed from one place to another place in our body. 
So the nerve cells are connected to one another in such a way that see here, here is a nerve cell. Here the axon, the end of the axon of a nerve cell is connected to the dendrite of another nerve cell. So this is the nerve cell 1 and this is the nerve cell 2 and this is the nerve cell 3. So here is the receptor R. It received the information and here the information is received in the form of a chemical reaction. This reaction it initiated an electrical impulse. So this electrical impulse is taken by this tip of the dendrite and this electrical impulse is passed through this nerve cell till the end of the nerve terminal. Here the electrical impulse is as it is not transformed to the next nerve cell. Between the end of this nerve cell and starting of another dendrite, there is some gap. There is a slight gap. In that gap, this electrical impulse, it initiates some chemical reaction. Some kind of chemical reaction takes place here and this chemical reaction again, it initiates the electrical impulse here. The same kind of electrical impulse. What kind of electrical impulse is passed through the first nerve? nerve cell, the same kind of electrical impulse is created in the second nerve cell. So this electrical impulse it passes and it finally reaches the nerve terminal. Again between the nerve terminal and the tip of the dendrite of another nerve cell, there is a gap. Again one more chemical reaction takes place. In this way, the electrical impulse is alternately converted to electrical impulse to chemical form, again to electrical impulse, again to chemical form. In this way, it is transferred to the processing units of the nervous system. Those are the brain and spinal cord. So in this way, the transfer of information takes place and you see how quickly this happens. If you touch something there, you feel it is hot or cold, how quickly it happens. That means how quickly the receptors have to receive the information and how quickly they have to pass this to the various parts of the nervous system. So this all happens so quickly. So here the gap between one nerve cell and another nerve cell which is a very slight gap in which the electrical impulse is converted into some form of chemicals that is by a chemical reaction again these chemicals again they are converted to electrical impulse at this particular junction which is called synapse. Synapse is nothing but the gap between one nerve cell and another nerve cell but they are connected. Connected in the sense, of course, they may not have a direct physical contact. The tips of dendrite of one nerve cell has not having the direct physical contact with the terminals of another nerve cell. But there is some gap between the connection. So what happens in that connection? Chemical reaction takes place. So whatever the electrical impulse which is passing through this nerve, when it reaches this point, it generates some chemicals. A chemical reaction takes place. So these chemicals are, they pass the gap. The chemical which are released here, they travel this gap and reach the tip of the dendrite of another nerve cell. So this is what actually happens and in this way the information is passed in the nervous system. So the nervous system is a very complex tissue uh, made up of complex tissue made up of nerve cells. So the nervous system is a well organized system in the animals especially in the human beings. We can see the nervous system is divided into various parts the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system and how the information is passed from this peripheral nervous system to the central nervous system and how the information is processed and how the responses or movements are produced in this nervous system we will see in the coming session.